team you had in your first four outs. Since losing to the Buckeyes, Nebraska has won six straight, making their argument to make it into the NCAA tournament. What are their chances that they continue to put together wins in this season? Well, I, I, I think the key is they have to keep winning. They really cannot afford a stumble because their schedule is not that difficult. But when I look at it, back in January, they lost to Penn State. And at that point, I was like, forget it. They, they, they have very little shot. What have they done since? Eight wins, one loss. The one loss, Ohio State by five in Columbus. Uh, I think Nebraska is playing good basketball, but the schedule has not really been favorable. And, and I know the point of not playing some of these tough teams in Lincoln actually hurts them a little bit, because if they had won... All right. How we got it's cut off. <laughs> <laughs> You're still going, Howie. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle. That's all right. I just keep yapping. What can I say? <laughs> it caught us all off guard. Continue on with your point uh, with Nebraska. Well, Nebraska's playing good basketball right now. I mean, they're hot. They got 20 wins. But if you look at the overall strength of schedule, uh, it's a little shaky. Uh, the funny thing is they lost early in the season to St. John's, and suddenly that loss doesn't look that bad when uh, St. John's beat both Duke and Villanova. I had to get a St. John's plug in, it's my alma mater. But bottom line with Nebraska, uh, I think they have potential to sneak in. A lot's gonna also depend on some of those teams near the bottom of the bracket. Uh, if they stumble a little bit, I mean, I'll give you an example. Virginia Tech tonight, I have being right on the bubble, probably in right now. If Virginia Tech beats Duke, and the resume includes beating Duke, North Carolina, NC State, Notre Dame, uh, Virginia, uh, Virginia Tech would be in. So Nebraska's got to kind of root against some of these teams that are really close. It's going to be fascinating. It's a great time of year. March Madness is super, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And the Big Ten starts early with the tournament, really early this year. And that's going to be fascinating, too, to see how these teams respond after the tournament in the NCAA tournament. All right, Howie, great stuff. Thanks so much for the time. I'll tell your friend Andy Katz you said hello. We appreciate it. Take care. Thanks, Michelle. Great All to right. be with you.